service. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. Last week, we were on the West Coast for the 2001 edition of the Greater Los Angeles Auto Show. But as sunny and warm as LA can be, it's the chilly climes of the Midwest where American Auto Show fever is the hottest. The 2001 North American International Auto Show in Detroit is where the heat's up full as manufacturers fall all over themselves to tease U.S. car buyers about what they'll be driving in the next year and beyond. So let's hit the cold of the Motor City and find out what's new and hot. Detroit in January. It may be cold outside Cobo Hall, but waiting inside this giant convention center was a warm welcome for nearly 60 new production and concept cars at the 2001 North American International Auto Show. Concept cars are the king of crowd pleasers, and Daimler Chrysler always aims to please. Their trio effort begins with the sleek Chrysler Crossfire, a low-slung supercharged V6 sport coupe with a boat tail roof line reminiscent of the 1971 Buick River Viera. Going back to the 50s was the Dodge Super 8 Hemi. Retro from the reverse windshield pillars to the front bench seat, it matches the tall stance of a truck with the comforts of a big family sedan and a 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Jeep reaches back to its roots with the willies, but this minimalist concept pretends to show how a lightweight cutting edge plastic body could be molded into the next Wrangler. Even Europeans are mining their past. Flower power comes alive at Volkswagen with this microbus concept. Its locomotive nose, short body overhangs, and almost wraparound windows could once again appear for production if peaceful auto show crowds love it. Ford drove back to the future with this sleek concept, the longer lower 49. Dressed in pitch black paint, the 49 reflects on Ford's first post-World War II new car design and other company vehicles of the 1950s. But the 49 is powered by the upcoming Thunderbirds modern V8 and may represent Ford's next attempt to revive America's car driving passion. But Ford couldn't forget its number one in trucks. This Explorer Sportsman takes the most popular SUV on trails seldom traveled. Borrowing simple, ultra-rugged cues from its blue oval cousin, the Land Rover Defender, the Explorer Sportsman adds retracting running boards and articulated roof rack to become an angler's dream machine. But the Ford EX is designed to go even further off-road. The two-seat dune buggy EX protects with a chrome molly frame and shoulder harness racing seats. General Motors offered up five advanced concepts at a dazzling sound and light show. Cadillac's all-wheel drive Vizon crosses SUV utility and sporty performance with Cadillac's new edgy style. The GMC TerraCross is a more blunt adaptation of the modern SUV. This mid-sized V6 sport ute built on GM's new Epsilon car chassis uses sliding rear doors they hope will appeal to younger buyers. The O4 shows what might have been from Oldsmobile, but the smooth Bertone-designed open-air four-passenger four-door could still pop up at another GM brand. Although the youngest buyers might be more interested in the Sabia from GM Day Brazil, the front-drive concept looks like a small coupe, but has four doors and an open-air cargo box to provide big vehicle utility. But those of all ages will probably love the Buick Bengal. This sleek roadster's secret also includes rear doors and a hidden compartment for golf bags or extra players. Rumor is this Tiger Woods edition is headed for production. There were two long-anticipated sports car concepts. When it goes on sale next year, the new Nissan Z will look a lot like this sleek effort, with its deep racer grill fronting an airfoil-like shape. While a 260-horsepower V6 will speed things to 60 in under six seconds, a promised price of under $30,000 should make the Zs literally fly off the showroom floor. Mazda's surprise was the RX-8 prototype, but unlike the previous Mazda RX sports cars, this one is a 2 plus 2 with small rear doors for a bit of practicality. True to RX form, a rotary engine is under hood with 250 horsepower. Look for the production RX-8 in about a year. Sport utility crossover and truck concepts were out in all shapes and sizes. The toaster-like Honda Model X is designed for wide generation folks whose lifestyles are far too active for just a car. Fitting below the CRV, its center opening doors reveal a flat, wide, and nearly indestructible interior. Another upright SUV concept was the Isuzu GBX, dubbed the Gearbox. 
The Alpha T slab sided cargo box can carry even more gear. Nissan sees this full size pickup truck concept as a big tool and a big hint of the production truck which arrives in 2003. Meanwhile, the Infiniti FX45's racy roofline is a far more eye pleasing people mover. But give Mitsubishi the prize for the most original look for an SUV concept. The RPM 7000 fits the front styling of an unlimited hydrofoil racing boat to an all-terrain sports car chassis. Mitsubishi's other multi-purpose concept, the ASX or Active Sports Crossover, is a more conventional yet still very aggressive blend of truck and small sedan usefulness. Volvo too offered a pair of multi-purpose concepts in about two years a variation of this adventure concept car or ACC should see the light of day while just seeing better is the theme of the Volvo safety concept car with its adaptive headlights innovative see-through roof pillars and an interior that automatically adjusts to your eye level. Car light concepts were few but did include the dramatically different BMW X Coupe all-wheel drive and off-road capable it's an asymmetric exercise with rally car interior and a side open Opening hatchback. And then there is the sweeping Acura RSX. While a prototype it's very close to the coupe Acura will launch this summer to replace the Integra. This Celica fighter promises a full 200 horsepower from only two liters of engine and a cockpit that befits its mission. Indeed, the North American International Auto Show is also about production cars. For 2001, a jury of 50 independent journalists voted the funky Chrysler PT Cruiser as the 2001 North American Car of the Year, while Acura's luxury MDX Sport Ute took home the honors as the 2001 North American Truck of the Year. The Detroit show also had more than its share of new production car announcements, including one for this gorgeous Infiniti Q45. On sale in April, it brings back the performance of the original Q with a graceful interior, satellite navigation, and a rear view camera. Lexus stays to celebration for its long-awaited SC430 hardtop convertible. Mercedes rounds out its C-Class with an elegant C320 wagon and a supercharged 349 horsepower performance sedan, the C32 AMG. That same engine should make this SLK32 AMG a drop-top rocket ship. Want the latest performance SUV? Then try the 347 horsepower BMW X5 4.6 IS. And on sale this summer for a fast tan, the 333 horsepower M3 convertible. A surprise soft top was the second generation Dodge Viper RT10. Due in 2003, its more concise shape will still house a V10 engine rated at 500 plus horsepower and a true retracting top. A welcome sight at Detroit were sporty five-door models aimed at younger buyers on a budget. The American-made Toyota Matrix joins its cousin the Pontiac Vibe in a race to market a sleek sport wagon with available all-wheel drive. Up a couple of notches, Lexus fielded a new wagon, the IS300 Sport Cross, to do battle with BMW's 3 Series Squareback. The all-wheel drive experts at Subaru put their rally racing experience to the street with the almost wild 227 horsepower Impreza WRX sedan and sport wagon. Four-wheel drive will also be standard when the Land Rover Freelander Mini Ute arrives later this year. It's already the best-selling SUV in Europe. Competing against Freelander is the 2002 Jeep Liberty, replacing the venerable Cherokee this summer. The Liberty's body was influenced by two past Jeep concepts, the Jeepster and Dakar. Both manual and automatic transmissions are offered with a standard 2.5 liter 4 and top 3.7 liter V6. Finally, the new Mini Cooper. Still a year away, Detroit was their U.S. coming out party, and it was the biggest prize in the smallest package that nearly stole this huge show. But the real reward in Detroit is the imagination on display at every turn. The 2001 North American International Auto Show unwraps the future of personal mobility, and it never looked brighter.